Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Deus Ex, Part 6. I'm in, uh... I'm in Hell's Kitchen. There's a lot to do here. We're getting reports of a hostage situation in a Ton Hotel, which is at the southeast corner of the block. When you stayed with Paul, did you meet Mr. Renton and his daughter Sandra? We think at least one of them is still inside. Well, that doesn't sound good. Definitely gonna have to take care of that eventually. Garbage! Ha <laughs> ha No, enough of that. Who is whistling? Ah, oh, it's my fellow Unatco troopers. Den. Hey, it's Den. You want these? What? Give him the grenades. Look, I know he's your brother, but... Your brother gave us these things. Look at this. Irritation to all exposed mucous membranes. What's that gonna do? Just tell Paul to give us bullets next time. Here's one. Prolonged exposure can damage the bronchial pathways. Prolonged exposure? It's like giving them cigarettes or something. Look, do you want these things? Sure. Hand them over. Here you go, with my compliments. Good luck. Gas grenades. Non-lethal grenades. They're very useful, actually. At least in the next mission, they'll be very useful. And I have, uh, four of them. That's cool. Effective crowd control? What's that supposed to mean? You see, you can either uh, throw them or stick them to a surface, and if there is anyone close to that surface, eventually it'll explode and they'll start wiping their eyes. Um, for example, if only I could give you a visual display. I think I'd better leave before certain people stop wiping their eyes. Do See, don't you see how effective these are, gentlemen? Uh-oh. Hopefully they won't realize. Oh, God. I never noticed that there's chalkout lines here. Apparently people died right outside the hospital. It's some type of irony. Well, I guess it's not really irony for people to die at a hospital, because that probably happens really frequently now that I think about it. I, uh, I heard a lot of shooting outside. They told me to come in here. Good call. The riot cops are running scared. Reminds me of Washington. I was there when the NSF overran Squalnomi, back when they were called the Northwest Secessionist Forces. Were you at Squalnomi? Yeah, it was night. They came in with their mopped camel and we never picked them up on any of the sensors. What a goddamn mess. I didn't know. Had a hard time sleeping after that. Didn't do real good on the psyche valves either. Got drummed out in short order. The army probably didn't want to have any reminders hanging around. Yeah, and now look what they got. NSF in downtown Manhattan. Same guys that nearly whooped us in the Northwest. Bet the brass remembers Squall Nomi now. What's up, guy? Sorry, I ain't got nothing for you. That's okay. I was just trying to talk. Hey there. I'm Raphael. This here's Jake. Jake seems like a badass. Hey. What? Just call me when the shooting's over. Christ. You see the guy begging for a cure? Yeah, what about him? It won't help. There is no cure. How do you know? They show you stuff in the military. You want to know the real battlefield? It's microscopic. We can't even see it. Lucky for me, I got immunizations, but that guy... Well, once you're infected, you're infected. And what about me? I don't know. You got lucky. Not a bad thing to be. Huh. Then what the hell is the ambrosia? I thought that was a Welcome cure. Welcome to Tenderloin Clinic. Tenderloin? <laughs> yes, the secretary sighs in resignation. She's used to people coming over and hacking her computer. It happens pretty frequently, actually. Okay, do do a lot easier to read these, despite the, uh, the time limit when you're recording it, and you can just read it later, I must say. It's all ice cream and lollipops. That's what the nice man on TV said. Do we have it a lift with a woman on it, I say? <laughs> what a pointless augmentation, I love it. Who will help the widow's son? Excuse me? 
Oh, sorry, I, I thought you were someone else. Okay, that was creepy. The NSF are playing right into our hands. That was really creepy, and I have no idea what he meant. Hey, Doc. You look like the do-it-yourself type. How about the automated care plan? Only 2,000 credits. Med kits are 300. Only 2,000 credits? Give me a med kit. I could always use one of those, even though that's pretty damn pricey. All I can afford is a med kit. Here you go. Please read the instructions before giving aid. Now, the automated health plan is a, um... is a bot that can carry you up to full health whenever you want. Uh, but you need to pay 2,000 credits to get in here. Unless you're some type of multi-tool expert. <laughs> doop -a -doo, doop -a -doo, doop -a -doo. Yeah. This almost pays for itself right here. <laughs> Very good to get the full plan. Excellent. Now I no longer regret the fact that I, uh... Got multi tool instead of lockpick. And there's two bots, so there's actually a pretty long recharge time between the bots, like you can't just keep on touching them. Or it'll be like, we need to recharge. Is that a different one? But uh, there's two of them in here, so you can heal as much as you want, pretty much. Uh, is there anything else? Hi, I'm in charge of law enforcement on this block. You doing alright? Yeah. They told me to come in here. Is that okay? Perfectly fine. Just making sure everyone's safe. Hey, while you're at it, you ought to do something about the NSF. Perfectly good shelter. You know what they're doing in this neighborhood? Kicked us out of the old Osgood place. A bunch of us camping in the tunnels. Talk about rights, but when they want something, they take it. Maybe I'll look into it. You take care of yourself. All right, new note received. Whenever that happens, you can hit select, go over to uh, the notes. And I believe they're in order of when you get them. If they're not, that's kind of annoying. Let's go in here. I want satisfaction. We've done all that we can. It's time for you to go. This is supposed to be a free clinic. Bet you'd do something if I had more money. You've got the plague, sir. You know, rich people don't get great death. Don't make me call security. Like Mr. Billionaire Bob Page. He don't have it. The president don't have it. I never seen a movie star who's got it. You don't have it. What's going on? I'm with a patient right now. Wait your turn. You should be more appreciative. By helping you, this gentleman risks his own health. But he won't give me any medicine. Trust me, when there's a cure, the city will underwrite the cost. The virus threatens everyone. I don't believe you. And I won't hesitate to prescribe the treatment for you. You better not. Yeah, I don't know what happens if you're a dick. He might attack you. I can't really... Oh, God, I need you. I really hope there's not a fire in the free clinic, because otherwise you guys are screwed. But I need it in case I light on fire. Quay? No idea what the hell that was. Huh. You can sort of read what it says. You guys should use a higher resolution on your... on your posters. Thank you. The ones with the plague can be so stubborn sometimes. Don't mention it. Let me express my gratitude. You can have the automated care plan for 1200 That's at a 40% discount. Or a med kit for 180 Wow, I wasted money before, didn't I? All I can afford is a med kit. Here you go. Please read the instructions before giving aid. Excellent. Oh, by the way, I already have the automated health care plan. <laughs> well, I think I've done enough here. Drink. Yield zero points, because I'm already at max. Let's go into the women's bathroom. There'll be no one to yell at me here. If you think I was you hoping have for a candy death, bar or please something. Pick up an information packet. Huh. One urinal, one toilet. Okay. 
Guys don't even have adequate toilets. I wish uh, the they'd give us the all clear. Whatever, I'm done talking to you guys, you're boring. BORING! All I wanted was a bathroom candy bar, is that too much to ask? Alright, I didn't get any bathroom candy, but I got, um... I got med kits, that's almost as good. Almost. Let's barricade you guys in in case some terrorists come. They'll have to be like, oh, there's a trash can, I can't move it. And then they'll go away. I just saved your lives. What's up with you, bro? Back off, man. Nothing? Nothing's up with you? What on, dude? I just wanted to talk, man. Maybe you give me some intel. Here. Hold that, fool! What's going on here? Do something, man. They're gonna kill him. Nothing. I checked his pockets. You don't live underground and not have one of Charlie's cards. Make him take off his shoes. I just sleep down there. They don't give you money unless you're on the council. Take off your shoes. Charlie has no reason to be stingy if he has a currency encoder. They just hacked a few accounts. They have so much for cash, that's it. I'm not asking again. It's just a bunch of us. We go down there to get out of the cold. All right, we'll do it the hard way. <laughs> Hard way. That wasn't very hard. I don't know what you guys were talking about. Did you see that? Yes, I... That was uncalled for. You mug people great. You need the dough. But you show some respect. What were they after? Especially when it's your ally. They came to us. They wanted an underground base. So those guys were NSF? Yeah, the NSF gives guns to anybody who wants to fight. A lot of people just take the guns and do what they want. So the terrorists are based in the subways? The sewers? They need to move some kind of secret equipment. Our tunnels are like the crossroads. Tell me how to find this base and I bet I can get the NSF off your back. Underworld. Just remember that word when you see Curly. He lets people in. Sounds good. I love those little throwing knives, I just wish I could find more of them. Ah. Oh. Oh well. You should get skill points if you make that. A crate! Crow. Bar! I think, alright, either now I'm gonna head to the bar, or the hotel where my brother lives. Next manhole I see, I'm going underground, and I'm not coming up. That's actually a decent plan, sir. Yo! Crowbar Chuck! Went pretty far. Where the hell is this? Oh, that's the hotel. Or is it? Is this the hotel or the bar? I'm going to assume it's the bar. Actually, I'm gonna go this way. That will I know for sure. Alright. Is saving people. What I'm telling you, girl? Whoa. You said I didn't have to. Make Janie do it. I already took the money. And when it's JoJo and it's something you want, you gotta do it. You and me both, baby. We helpless. We were just gonna hang out today. I told you how they don't play with me, this amateur unprofessional bullshit. Johnny. If it's business, it's business. If it's us two hanging out, then we hang out. Right now, it's business. I want out, Johnny. I didn't know it would get like this. Put it this way. You in it. You want out is like a gang. You get beat out. That <laughs> beat. Thanks. Sucks to get backed into a corner. I was trying to find the back way into smugglers. Smuggler? Hey, you shouldn't have took down Johnny. Soon as Jojo finds out. 
Who's this Jojo? You can't touch Jojo. He doesn't go out and there's only two ways to the warehouse. Warehouse? You think you can sneak into Osgood's at the park, but in the first place, it's locked. Looks like the fighting in the park has died down. And if you go underground, he's got laser trip wires, drone guns, military type stuff, plus there are guards on the roof. Tell you what, I'll handle Jojo. You stay out of the way until the NSF have pulled back. I can take care of myself. Yes, this is one of the situations where knocking someone out, everyone will act as if he is dead. If I talk to people, they'll act like he's dead. Even though he's clearly still alive, it says unconscious. Unconscious equals dead in this game. Who's you? Stay out of the town, bro. Bad shit going down. Oh yeah, speaking of the uh, hotel, I should probably go to the town. Get some tauntauns. What's your business here, Agent? Just going up to my brother's room. Uh, you better hold off. The NSF retreated in there about half an hour ago, and they've taken hostages. We're waiting on a specialist. I'm your specialist. Just tell me where the hostages are being held. No one's standing in your way, but you'll have to go in alone. Our orders are to hold the perimeter. We think the terrorists are on the second floor. Carry on, Corporal. Agent? Okay, so this is the back way into the hotel. I can take the fire escape. Uh, let's see here. Let's make myself a little ladder. Jump up to the ladder. Don't take any unnecessary risks. Cool. Alright. Man, I cannot wait to get the speed and jumping enhancement against this game so much more fun. Yeah. Exploration <laughs> bonus. Awesome. Here's my brother's apartment. And I will take your med kit, Paul. See what you have been reading. Uh. Ooh. Sodas. <laughs> eh. Mine. Soy food. Pots. Ah, and he just gave me the code to his safe. The Indian crisis. So yes, he mentioned it was behind a wall painting. Bam! I could have bypassed that lock pretty easily if I didn't find the code. But yeah, there's uh, ammunition, multi-tools, bioelectrical cells, whole bunch of fun stuff. And he just gave me the password to his computer, so I don't have to hack it. Ballistic armor, very nice. Can save you in a pinch. So he's got a whole bunch of emails there. This is from some lady, apparently. I don't know what the hell that's about. This one's to me. Very cool. That's from the deck. I have no idea what the hell is up with this. Alright. Interesting stuff. Anything secret that you're hiding under the cabinets? Apparently not. I believe we're good. Now, I'm inside of the hotel that the hostage situation is happening. This is very real. There's a character here that can die if you screw it up. And that'll close off one of the quests from later. Yeah. Just in case someone comes. Well, so there might be terrorists right on the other side of that door. You should probably save. Ooh, money. Paul wouldn't mind. Oh, God, that's a lot of money. You probably will mind. Oh well. I'll just tell him that it was Space Banditos if he asks. Saving! Okay, I have to be very careful here. Experience is at stake. I mean, lives are at stake. Wait, that's not the exit? That's a closet! Okay. <laughs> that's the exit. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Alright. And now let's take out the NSF. <laughs> See, what's good about that is that, uh, you know, the innocents got hit with the, the smoke, but it won't kill them. It actually is hurting me. I'm gonna turn my environment. Uh, that's my. That's my lights. Environmental protection. Thanks for taking care of those guys. <laughs> From the police? <laughs> you not go. Yeah? Well, you might be interested. I heard them talking. They said something about it. How they had just put in a generator in a warehouse a few streets south of here. Did you catch the name of the street? No, but they were talking about their security setup. Anything interesting? It sounded like there was underground access. They're using the word righteous as some kind of password. That's very helpful. Thanks. Excellent. And of course you don't get that intel if uh, he dies. Thanks. No problem. Accomplishment bonus. Newspaper. Whoops. Trying to uh, catch my breath. I saw the word "zine." That's kind of this game's like crack heroin type drug. Now the character that I was talking about is down here. So let me save one more time. Uh, let's get out my stealth pistol. I don't know exactly where he is. Wait, is that... He's gotta be there, there's a green reticle. I just have to make sure that the terrorist doesn't go and shoot him. Which he'll do probably as soon as he sees me. That was close. <laughs> he actually got off a shot on him. Ooh. Alright, he is saved. Nano key ring! To the whole hotel, hopefully. <laughs> you all right, Mr. Renton? Fine, I think that's all of them. You got the guys upstairs, right? Yeah. By the way, I saw your daughter down the street. She didn't look so good. Sandra? Was she coming back to the hotel? I took care of a thug who was harassing her, but she's still mixed up in some pretty nasty business. You better talk to her. No. No more talking. If you see her, tell her I don't care what she's been doing. She can come home. No questions, no speeches. I'll tell her she can trust you. Now, there's a lot of ways this can go. Um, if he gets killed, when you talk to the daughter, you tell her, I'm sorry your father's been killed, and she, you know, she cries and she flips out. Oh, I don't know. But, um, yeah, there's nothing more you can do with that. If she dies, you have to tell the father that your daughter was killed by the thug or by you or by whatever. Uh, and again, nothing that happens. But since it's happened like this, there will be a quest later on, as both of them are still alive. Though I do believe I need to talk to her once more in order to let her know that it's okay to come home. That flashing over there is from an elevator <laughs> shaft. My life. Thought I was a goner. You can actually climb up the elevator shaft as an alternative way to come here. And I have the key here. There's probably some type of crazy items. Huh, where's my other key? There it is. Is this locked also? No. Alright. Let's do... Lockpick! What the hell would you be doing with a bioelectrical cell? No idea what the hell you'd be able to use it for, you crazy residents. Okay. Looks like some junkies OD'd on some Zyme. There's Zyme. I now have two vials of it. This uh, drug has a street value. There's certain characters that will buy it from you. Because uh, they want to sell or whatever. As a cop, I should probably turn it in or something. I don't know. But hey, if I use it to fight terrorists, it'll be a good thing, right? You can also take it. You just about saved my life. And it'll give you the drunk effect, you but saved my life. even more pronounced. So, it, but that's you know totally pointless. 
In any case, I believe that's it for this episode. I've done my good deeds for the day. What have you done? I'm sorry, that was overly aggressive. In any case, I'm Cross Knights. In the next episode, I'll go to the bar. Yoink. And talk to the people there. And maybe even get to the warehouse they've been talking about. Or the Smuggler's Cove. I don't know. Again, there's a lot of stuff to do in Hell's Kitchen. Alright, I'm Cross Knights. See you next time.